Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot 2 Essentials by Dev Dojo. And uh, continuing the errors uh, saga, what we are going to do now is to define like a global error handling. So when is that useful? Imagine that you would like for all your resources not found exception, you would like to apply a custom message. You would like a, a different body from what we have today. So for example, this is a default body that every time you have an exception, Spring Boot will define it for you. But let's say that you would like something more customized and for this you would like all the resource not found exception, all your custom exceptions for resource not found, to use that body. So this is what we are going to do now. First, we need to define a class that will be the, the new body. So for that, just create a class called resource not found details inside exception. Let's uh, create it here. New Java class, resource not found details. So basically, this class, I will add, uh, add data and the uh, builder. So this will generate get setter to string and builder will generate an internal uh, builder class. So what uh, we are trying to do here is just define a custom body, a custom object that will be uh, sent back every time we have an exception that's a resource on the phone. So the name actually doesn't matter. We are just giving some information here. For example, we would like a title. Uh, status is also good. We can add the detail. Detail is also interesting. Um, well, timestamp is also valid. So let's add the local date time. Time stamp. Um, well, we can add uh, something like uh, developer message, something more customized. Okay, now that we have this object, we would like this object to be uh, the one that is the default response. So for that, let's create a new package. And what we are going to create now, it's a handler. So the handler, it's uh, the class responsible for like imagine that's like a filter so every time you have an exception this is the the handler that will be executed so it's going to handle the your exceptions the resource not found exceptions this one so let's create a new class and uh, let's call it call it rest, rest exception handler why am i creating rest exception handler because you can have se several types of handler inside this class so the first, the first thing that we uh, are going to do here is use this uh, annotation at controller advice. So if you Google it a little bit, you will see that this controller advice, following the first link from Google, it's an annotation that was introduced on Spring 3.2, and uh, this is advice for multiple controllers. Okay, so translating this, basically you are telling the controllers that uh, if they find the what we are going to create here, just take this as the default. And what we are going to create here is an exceptional handler. So we are telling, we are giving advice to the controllers to use this exceptional handler in case the exception is resource not found exception, my exception. And what we would like to do? Well, we would like to return uh, response entity and this response entity will be the object that we just created and the name handle and we can copy this resource not for exception and then here it's the exception resource not for exception resource not found exception Okay, so now I'm going to return new oops, return new response entity, and uh, I have to first build the object. That's why we have that builder to make our life a bit easier here. So resource not found details dot builder dot build, and then we just add some stuff. For example, timestamp local date time dot now it will get the local date time that we have at the time this exception happened and then uh, status well we already know how it works not 
found http status not found but since this is a primitive int we have to get the value uh, the next one is uh, title you can tell here resource not found and then we can get inside the details the message that comes from the exception so dot get message and for the developer developer message we can add something here well we can uh, well let's tell something here get class dot get get name to get the entire package and class name for this one but that's okay and then since this is a response entity what kind of status we would like to return of course not found So I'm telling here for the other controllers, if you find an exception that's resource and found exception, use this handler. So this is kind of uh, having a global effect. And now that we have uh, everything, we just need to start. And I'm going to copy this URL here, right here, so we can compare. So as you can see, this is the default one, timestamp, status, error message, trace. And this is our custom, title, status, detail, timestamp, and developer message. So this way, you can create your own custom exceptions and you can handle the custom exception, have a consistent um, message across your entire system. Because probably the front-end team will be relying on this. Whatever you set, they will always expect, for example, for the 404, you always return like timestamp, title, and uh, developer message. So if you change that like in the middle of your project, you can expect them to come to your table and uh, ask what the hell happened. So uh, I think that's enough for one video. Let's continue in the next one. So see you there. Bye.